why do they need to take this person down? Should we go back to the cross? So why do they need to do this? Why do they need to keep persecuting? I will add here that um, at Easter time, way back in, we'll say 2013, 14 or so, 15, um, of course, I love Ann Pizza. I've never had an Ann Pizza, but their design here is as if someone broke the game board. People who play the game, are they persecute others. Because if you desperately need to you feel like you win something just in life, not there's appropriate places to play a game and that, you know, you participate in sports. Or that, you know, it could occur there too on a grander scale, like in life you're taking someone down. But uh, anyway, but you know what I mean? It's crashing the game board. Um, but I will say the procession of Christ, I, or the walk of Christ, or what have you, where he's carrying the cross, um, around 2015, we'll just say, uh, there was a female singer who came from the church uh, that, I want to say Trinity, but I don't know if that's what it is. I'm pretty sure it's not St. Pat's. St. Patrick's is very popular. It's around the corner from the Trinity one that I'm thinking of. But uh, she was singing hymns or whatever the song is that goes along with uh, the carrying of the cross at Easter. And of course, the story is he carries the cross and he rose on the third day, you know, and so forth and so on after being, you know, nailed to the cross and so forth and so on. So then put into a you know a coffin chamber or whatever it is that's what I remember from the programming um, rose on the third day so um, believe you, know, you me I know I'll be rising <laughs> so that's, that's that's an absolute secured position trust me on that one regardless of how it might sound you know sometimes with out of anger and Jesus also got angry I'm not religious but I'm just saying this is so bad that someone saw it as like a laying down the cross right here at aka extended stay otherwise known as TD Bank you know does it is it touchdown or is it uh, whatever it is from Canada it is a 26th so. Uh, this says Smallville over here, but it's really, um, it used to be Barnes & Noble. Now they could use a city infrastructure to scare someone, so, um, and a design element. But point being, the woman who sang, um, so the woman who sang, I'm almost doing the, <laughs> it would be top to bottom, side to side, but... Um, for this walking of the cross, you know, um, uh, is, um, was, had an incredibly beautiful voice, like voice. It was an amazing spectacle or an amazing scene to see this group of people so people actually carrying a very large cross, like more than more than human size, like uh, dragging it along while she sang all around the square here. <laughs> they probably did it because this could have been a point of interest regarding the persecution. Um, and um, um, I mean, her rendition and her voice so moving that I, you know, I wanted to tear up and cry and I, could, I couldn't figure out why no one else was that touched, per se. So certain things will, you know, um, you know, I'm a very feeling, deep person. So in a way, I've had to learn how to be a little bit less of a human being in order to survive in an inhumane world. Um, and there's Locust Street. So I just wanted to go back and forth on Locust. Maybe I'll come back out when pedestrians are walking the cross. This is not part of the cross, it's this, this. And then uh, Walnut Street up there. So, and the blood of Christ here at Curtis. Curtis is showing blood. The I, Curtis is an institute of music. It's nonprofit, therefore tuition is free. Should you be accepted? 
um, they would never use red. This is an artistic institution. They would use darker colors or colors that go along with music. So there's the blood of Christ laying bare here at Locust and 18th. 